Amen. Thank the Lord, amen, for my brother, amen. Very talented, amen. Anointed, praise the Lord. Um, it's been a joy being here this past two nights. Um, I believe more needs to be done. Uh, this is just, a, uh, how would you say, the top of the cake. There's still an in-depth that we need to go on into. And the way you're going to do that, I said it last night, you get on your phone and you go out and you vibe. And, and, and I'll share this with you real quick before I introduce these guys. You know, I was always taught growing up that when you go out and bite somebody, it seems like the, the Christians will go along and bypass the sinner's house and go on to the next Christian brother. Hey, we'll have a revival. But it should be going to the sinner's house. Hey, we'll have a revival. Come down. Go to the ones that are strung out on drugs and invite them. Hey Amen. They say yes. They may say no. But let me tell you something. They'll eventually come. When you begin to pray, you begin up to lift the name of Jesus. Amen. Things begin to happen in the spirit realm. Things begin to happen that you and I don't understand. Amen. It begins to reach out to them and they, they come. That's the one, that's the thing that Jesus did. Jesus never hung out with the rich. Jesus hung out with the poor and, and the ones that were strung out on different things. That's, that's who he died for. That's who he gave his life for those that were the less fortunate. And in that one time before we were in that situation, we were doing things we shouldn't have been doing. Amen. But through the grace of God, God gave his life for us. Amen. And God gave his life for you and I that we might be free and set free. Just like the brother said, there's freedom in God. There's freedom in the anointing of God. But I believe that this is just a breakthrough and something wonderful is going to happen. This is just, this, what you see here is not everybody. I have an entourage of workers that travel with the ministry. I have young people. I have workers, altar call workers that work the altars for me when I'm praying for people. They catch people. And the things that you see, seen last night, of people falling under the power of God. I will say this. If it is of God and you fall, you won't get hurt. But if you're playing around with God and you're not where you're supposed to be with God, there's a difference. That's the difference between flesh and the difference with God. When God slays you out, you're saved. But if you're just doing it to play around, you're going to get hurt. This is the what we did. This is not a play thing, playing with God. Playing time is over. This is a time and a season that we must get right with God. Jesus is getting ready to come. Jesus is getting ready to bring, get his church out of here. Come on. Oh, I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to stop. Praise the Lord. Okay. Back here on behind me is on the drums. It's a brother that I've known for many years. Uh, him and his wife. His wife, like I said, gave a testimony last night. They used to be uh, kingdom messengers. You all might have heard them travel around a lot of places. We helped play with them and, and um, times. And this is Roy, big man, and that's Sharon, big man. These, this is our drummer. He travels with us. He's the oldest in our group. <laughs> He's the elder of the group. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hanging out with the young guys. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And over here, this is my brother, Dustin Dumble. I've met him not a long, long time ago. And we kind of, we kind of, we're getting up in age now. Man, I met you a long time ago, years back. I can say that, years back now. And uh, well, I've known him for a long time, and, and uh, 
he's a good guitar player. He's also a good minister. He preaches too, sings, testify. You got to meet his girls. He's got girls that can play. Um, they can play instruments and they can sing. Praise the Lord. We'll, we'll maybe on the next time we'll get to bring them with us because they can sing. They're, they're 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 talented because these boys were raised in a in an environment with their dad which was a was a good musician too you know they all play instruments and they all sing and that's that's a good thing but this is dustin dumbo here from Anadarko, oklahoma also was in Anadarko, oklahoma and then over here to my left is my brother uh i've known him again many years and me and him has traveled together a lot of times it was just me and him going places doing things and then uh I've known him a long, long time. Uh, we've uh, his wife, his wife at the time would tell us different ones. Is that these guys are like this. These guys are like this. They go everywhere and uh, they do everything together. And, and uh, but and I said it's just a bond. And God put us together, put a bond there, and, and it's more than a friendship. And we've been through a lot together, and uh, but I thank God he's very quiet, very subdued. Those are the kind you gotta watch out for. I always tell him, once you start singing, I'm gonna stop. And he can play the guitar. He he runs the equipment, and um, we just uh, we just go wherever God wants to go, and we work sometimes good together. You know, we have our ins and outs. And, Hey, that's everybody. But and then myself, my name's Johnny Seven Star from Hammond, Oklahoma. Um, my I gave my testimony last night, so everybody that was here knew know who I am. Those that don't know who I am, you missed out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I won't say it again. <laughs> Amen. But um, we were trying to get CD. I got CDs, but I just couldn't get them just shorthand. Next time I come back, I'll have them with me. I have, uh, I think we did three albums. Um, and um, they're just songs that God has given over the years. Um, revival songs, Moses songs, you know. Uh, God gives me songs through, not through anything bad or anything, but like when I'm in a, in a good when I'm in a good service with a power of God is just swooping over, I get my songs that way. And they just drop in and I put the music to it and then we go from there. And praise the Lord. And, and it's, it's about time to go back into the studio soon. I just haven't done it yet. So been so busy just working and going home. But I thank God, amen. But like I said, we've traveled many, many miles and still putting miles on. I don't know how many cars we put into the ground. Come on, this is material things. Amen, praise the Lord, but I thank God. So at this time, I'm gonna call my brother to come. He's gonna sing some songs. Last night, we got here kind of late. We did a Chinese fire drill, sitting everything up and getting going, and I was tired, and uh, but you didn't see it. <laughs> but anyways, we're refreshed, and. Oh man, the food was good. I had to cut myself off. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be cutting everything short tonight. We'd have a short service and go out of here. So, but man, I thank God for the food. Amen. Thank you for the fellowship, and we'll hear more later. So, Colonel Dustin. Testimonies when they were 
talk. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. Yeah. Like the brother said earlier, you know, it's just the iceberg. But like I said, all what we can always let you sure you know that God said He never leaves us, He never forsakes us. But He's always with us no matter what. Even when we wasn't uh, where we should have been, when we was out doing our things in the world, when the drugs had us bound, it just seemed like that was the only thing that would take the pain away because it made you forget about everything. And after a while, the love began to leave you. All that care, it's God, I mean, it's just, it, it makes you a different person. But I thank God that there was somebody praying for me. Because if it hadn't been for Jesus, praise the Lord, I probably wouldn't be here tonight. But like I said, the Lord always knows what he's doing. I always tell my girls, when they go and do something, I said, do it with a cheerful heart. I said, even if you, it's just you go walk up to somebody, you shake your hand, that says a lot. That's probably all they wanted was somebody to come or say hello or give them a hug. I said, because you don't know what they've gone through in their lifetime. You can't sit there and be their judge because you're not their judge. I said, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, we were forgiven. Everything that we've done, our mistakes that we made, He still loved us. Praise the Lord. And sometimes it, it, it seems like you get too far gone. It's like you, you, you begin to tell yourself, make yourself believe that uh, He has forgotten about you. And, but we all know what, what caused that thinking. Praise the Lord. But I just thank God that I got an opportunity to come up here. And uh, yes, I mean, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that yeah, we're getting old because. I never used to talk this long. But I just, I just thank God behind that this opportunity to come. <laughs> but I want to share this song with you. Praise Lord, no matter what you go through in life, if you got illnesses in your body, God still heals. He's a miracle working God. And, and there's nothing too hard for him. Why is that? Because I've seen too many things in my lifetime. Watch God do miracles right in front of me. You know, he says, I, I can't doubt him. How's the song go? Because we know too much about him. There's a lot. The name of this song is called God's Got It in Control.
got it all So I when, when you tell your testimony to somebody, somebody probably needs to hear it. Because praise the Lord, you're probably that person that, that, that can get through and relate to what they've gone through. Nobody knows can tell your story like you can. Praise God. When the Spirit of the Lord moves in my heart, I will sing like a sang. When the Spirit of the Lord moves in my heart, I will sing.